This will be tutorial 26 of our Spring Boot with Time Leaf uh, tutorial series. And now we are going to be setting up the lead model. Now, if you've created the ad and update and it's working for you, congrats, you've come this far. This is tutorial 26, close to the end of the tutorial. We are going to look for a delete model, something we can use from the, the Bootstrap website. Let's go and steal some code from the Bootstrap uh, website. And it seems this might be okay. So let's just copy it. So I think, let me check this. Oh, I think it's about the same thing. Okay. It's about the same thing, so there's no problem. So let's copy it. And let's go to our page and then we paste it. Let's paste it at this time. Um, the name. The name of this model is going to be delete, delete model. So again, let's change up it. Let's change up some things. Let's say here, let's ask, are you sure you want to delete this record? Are you sure you want to delete this record? Then the title of the model is confirm delete. All right, so again, uh, let's say yes, delete here. Again, to launch this model, uh, we are going to put a delete button in the table. Before I do that, I want to give this model a name or an ID of delete model. So I'm going to give it an ID of delete model. Just give me a second. So publish role dialog uh, class model. Okay, model dialog. So I'm going to give it an ID equals delete model. Okay, so we are now going to go to the table and add one more column that is going to serve for delete. So meanwhile, let's go to check the page and see if we are missing out something. So there is a page. Add, okay. Uh, now add, now add the an update. Okay, it's working. Add the leads. Place the model in the page. Give it ID of the lead model. Change the text to something relevant. Change the button to an anchor tag and set the href to empty. The href is going to be set on the JavaScript. Add a delete link in the table. And just like that. Okay, let's go to do it and see. Um, so let's get back here. So have this table. Let's add a delete link. We we'll have td slash td, and uh, it's going to be delete. Uh huh. So um, have again td slash td. Hmm. What just happened? Okay, no, 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 no. So this is, I'm going to just undo. So I think this TD goes at, at the end of this one. So I'm going to add a new TD, TD slash TD. Um, so now they, so now, the same link will also be for this TD. So when you click, wait, wait let's, let's, let's see. So how uh, how delete. So granted, it's going to be the same link because you you need to first select the ID, and that is fine. But just just make sure you get everything right. So you have this here, we have delete link in the table, modify the main.js to show the delete model. Okay, so that is what we want to do. So we have to modify the delete link to show the delete model. So let's uh, give it a class first, class equals, uh, BTN, hmm, I'm just being stupid here. So, first we need an anchor tag, a 
At the end, we need another anchor tag A slash A. All right, so we need the same, the same link here. So let's copy it and then let's paste it right here. Okay. All right, so of course we have. Okay, so I'll actually go to go back to the web page because there is the final step at this point. So modify the main form to display the delete model. Okay, so delete. Okay, so now let's go to the main. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So we need to add class. Class equals btn btn uh, danger. Okay, so there is a delete button. Um, okay, so but there is something missing. Um, Shift this one a little bit backwards. Okay, so let's let's come here. Okay, so delete model. Okay, so delete button. So all right. So we have we need to give a name to this button. Name is equal to delete model. Okay, so the delete button. Uh, delete button. Okay, fine. So let's go to the JS file and add a code to show the model. That is what we want to do. So basically, we need when the button in the table is clicked, so we have select the table and this time we'll select based on the ID, the ID selected using the hash key delete both in okay when it is selected I'll say dot on click aha uh -huh. so when it's clicked uh, function events okay and we are going to run a code let me close this with some icon and I'm going to display the delete model so I'm going to just use a selector. Let me just give room so that you know what is happening here. I'm going to use a selector to select the delete model and then uh, show it. So I'm going to say uh, use a selector. This time it's going to be hash key selects selects by the ID. So it's delete model here yeah, selected by the ID. So dot model. Okay, right? Good. So I'm going to run it and let's see that when we click on the delete model button on the table, it's going to show the delete. If we click on the delete button on the table, it's going to show the delete model form for us or the delete confirmation model. So let's see. So uh, everything worked. Tomcats have started running on port 8080. So let's go here and then I'm going to refresh this page. And now you can see we have a delete button there. I'm going to click on it. Uh, so <laughs> it's displaying this to the edit student button. So uh, let's go to change something. So when we click on the deletes model let's go to the HTML page so we have this uh, so let's go down to the delete model to see what is happening so so we have okay so table delete button on click delete model that model Everything should be fine. So why is it showing us the... So let's just refresh again.
So it can find to find it. Uh, okay, so delete. Hmm, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Slash today, slash delete. Okay, so let's go to check where the problem is coming from. So when we click on the delete, uh, it says table delete on click, delete model. So let's go to the page to see if we are missing something. Prevent, okay. So delete model dot model, fine. Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to first delete model dot there, right? Okay. So the base so let's let's get back here. Let's come let's just complete everything. So let's go to base. The name of this botting is going to be uh is going to be an anchor. No, 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 not now. Uh, delete model, class uh, delete model. Hmm. All right, so so we have oh okay, delete button on click function delete model dot model. Sure, it should work. This is strange. Oh, I think it has to be with cache caching on the on the browser side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the page. I'm going to use Control F5 to refresh the page, or I'm going to reload it completely, and I'm going to click on Delete, Edit, Delete. Delete. Okay, let's let's try to do something. Um, let me try something. Okay, so let's come here. For now, I'm going to come to this place and I'm going to take out, temporarily, I'm going to take out this. Okay. So let me just cross check here. So I have delete button on click. We have, okay. I really don't know where this problem is coming from, but let's see. Uh, if it doesn't work now, I'm going to end this class, and then in the next class, I'm going to solve solve it. So let's let's go back to the page. Let's make sure the server has started. I'm going to refresh this page, and I'm going to click on delete again, so it doesn't work. So we are going to handle this in the next class. Meanwhile, I'd like to thank you for viewing.